Hello. Welcome back to part two of the mini suitcase for the Trinket Parlour over on Facebook. I've been prepping. I've got inky hands. So let me show you what I have done. Okay, so I finished my top edges of my uh, bottom piece and my top piece. So it's the same all the way round. Okay. And what I also did was cut my papers. Now, what I did is cut them the same size as the chipboard. So six and a half by four and a quarter. Here I just did because it's an inch, I just did like an eighth under an inch all the way round, okay? Now, we're only cutting papers at the moment for the outside. You don't want to put your papers on the inside yet because we need to attach our hinges and our closure and we need to hide the brads. So you don't want to put your paper on the inside just yet, okay? Do as I say, not as I do, please. Don't want any mistakes now. So... What else I did to prep is I grabbed my handle and my straps, all the two that I've done, and I glued them down, okay? So you've got a little quarter inch flap, then you've got a, a half inch and a half inch. So all you want to do is you want to start with your little quarter inch flap and you want to get that down first okay so put glue all over your straps or handle whatever you want it to be push your quarter inch side down first that gives it a nice edge and then fold your half inch over at the top Try not to get glue on it because it doesn't cover well with ink when you've got glue on it. And just get that down like that. And you want to do this for all three pieces. If we need to do another one, I'm not sure if it's going to go all the way round. I didn't measure. I'll just do it as I go along. But if you're more organised, then you can measure what you need and make sure you've got it all ready. So, so that's them. Okay. So you should have three 12 inch by half an inch straps stroke handle. Okay. So get that done. Cut your papers. And what did I do with my papers? <laughs> what have I done with them? Oh, Mandy, what are you like? What are you like? Have I dropped them on the floor? Oh, here they are. They're upside down and I couldn't see them. <laughs> right, paper collection I am using is the same, the bottom piece, I'm, sorry, the top piece, I'm actually using this pink side, but it's the Violet Crush Collection from Kaiser Craft. Okay, but this is what I used on the first suitcase, but I wanted the polka dot at the top again so um, I'll be using the pink side of that and then for the rest of it I'm using this really old paper collection from Paper Mania and I've just pulled out a few sheets that I wanted to use from there cut them all down to size so everything's ready I've also inked let's get this right out of the way I've done all my bottom pieces. I think the edges with vintage photo on all pieces, sides, front, back, and the top. Sorry, this will be the bottom. And I've also put score tape on all of them. So that's that. That's the top. 
that's the box. And also, I ink the edges of my box. Once I've put my um, card cover over the top, I went round with Vintage Photo, and it's really dark because I've got this, um, oh, what do you call them? Distress ink refill type thing. And I inked up my tatty old thing with some of the ink. Just give it a nicer, darker colour. So I just dabbed that on there. Put a couple of little shots of that on there. Do that up because I'll probably knock it over. Then I've got my vintage photo ink pad and just like that. Where's my top box? Oh. And just went round, falling apart. Because I wanted it really dark. And then the edges, of course. Don't matter if you make a mess because your papers will cover most of it. But make sure you've got plenty of coverage. like that Is that all done yep so that's the top and I did exactly the same with my papers first I went round with my scissors just to um, shabby the edges up a bit like that this is the bit I need to, it's a bit darker than the rest, but hey ho, it doesn't matter, it's, most of it will be covered. Okay, so ink the edges of your papers and your boxes, <coughs> excuse me, get your double sided tape or, well, if you're using glue, you don't want to do this until you stick them down. I didn't go right up to the edge because I like to sort of pull them up a bit. I should probably get ink all over it now. Yeah, look at that. Let me just wipe that. Like that. Like that. And then one down the centre. Ish. <laughs> so that's it. So this is the top. And the, I'm trying to do a similar, you know, a bit flowery down the bottom and polka dot up the top. So we want to start with our top box. Now, as I said, when, when I cut the papers, I cut them the same size of the chipboard, but I just, on some of them, like the sides, I just went a notch under, like that would be an inch. It was an inch chipboard, but I've just done an eighth under an inch when I cut the papers. So, uh, so if you've got any of your white showing, you need to go over it again. Just to, even if you'd have to do that, you know, cover it all up. So you don't get any white bits poking out. I'm in a white mess. Might as well do that because I've got so much ink on my ink pad. So what you want to do, that's the bottom. No, that's the top, sorry. Is start putting your papers on. In fact, I might leave that till last. Make sure your score tape is burnished down nicely. And just go round. Make sure your ink's dry actually. And put on your papers.
I mean, if you're doing different sizes to what I'm doing, you can obviously use your ruler and measure your papers yourself. You know what you're doing, don't you, ladies? the edge on that one so I'm just gonna crinkle it back a bit and then the last side and that's it Okay. As I said, you don't want to do your insides until you've um, oh, I've got to put the top bit on. Oh. I've got about that. Give me a little pokey tool. Like so, probably went a bit too dark on the ink, but that's fine. You don't have to ink yours, you can paint it, you can do what you like, or you can just make the paper big enough to cover all the edges. Okay, so that's your top done, and you want to do the same for your bottom, your bot bot. Like that, in your front and your back. Right, let's have a look. This is the bottom. Make sure you get your paper set the right way round. Now this one, I obviously left at the. Yeah. So that one, I didn't cut it down like I did the sides, but never mind. Little girls aren't going to notice things like that, are they? Put that bit up in the middle first because I overlapped the... Ah, come on. Overlap score type. Right, right, right. Mind you, doesn't really matter with this paper, but Excuse me. Oh, that's a pen. If you've got any white bits showing, just go over them with your ink. Now I'm going to do the sides. Check that I'm recording. Getting paranoid now about all this recording business. And that bit. Ooh. Well, that's a bit short, but. Oh well. I'm going to 
add a bit on there because I think I've cut those a bit too short. That's why I say it's easier if you measure your own and cut your own paper. Then you can't blame me for getting it wrong, can you? Well, I just did. <laughs> As I say, my little girls probably won't even notice. Yeah, I think I, I will probably cut some more to go over that, but if I've got enough, I might not even have enough, so I might have to leave it. Okay, so that's your front, sorry, your bottom and your top. So, that's a back, that's a front. So it should all sit nicely together like that. And now we're going to put on the hinges. Clear your mess up. Get that ink out of the way. Burnish your papers down, make sure they're not going to come off. Right, so this is my back, this is my front, or whichever way you think looks best, you choose your side. I'm going to stick to, so what am I going to do first? I think I will do the hinges first. Oh look, I've only got three left. Which do I use them on then? I need two anyway. I can't remember what I'll be used the hinges on. Oh well, never mind. Oh yeah, them boxes I did for my sister. Okay, so you want your two hinges and, of course, I've forgotten my brads. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and wash my hands, pause you for a second, and I will be back. I'm back again. Right, I've got my pokey tool available from the trinket parlour. I've got my hinges and my closure from the trinket parlour. Now, with the hinges, you do get screws. If you want to use the screws, that's fine. But I would add some glue on as you're screwing in so that they don't come undone. Um, what I also forgot to tell you as well is when you're doing your... When you're doing your inking, ink your straps as well. I just washed my hands. You wouldn't believe it because I'm all inky again. Uh, do your straps as well. You only need to do one side of your strap. Oh, that's not the strap. Okay. And let them dry. But on the handle, you want to do both sides because it'll sort of bend around like that and you'll be able to see both sides probably. So uh, I would, I would uh, ink both sides of that one. So what we're going to do, we're going to use our pokey tool and we're going to do the hinges first. So make sure you've got whatever side you want for the back. Okay. So when you get your hinges, this is the underneath. When you open them out, it's flat. On the outside, it's got that raised bit here and this is the bit you want on the outside so you'll be doing it like that okay so you need to choose where you want them let's have a look how long am I I'll put that there I'll do that one there. So, and support your box, otherwise it'll break when you're poking your holes through. 
I'll just make a mark first and then I'll okay I'm doing that wrong already look telling you to do it I'm gonna have to do that again further down like that I like that okay so mark your holes and then with your pokey tool and be careful because it's quite close to the top make sure it goes in straight support your chipboard and just poke your hole through okay and same with the other one you want to make sure your brads are able to go through the hole okay so then get your get your brad ready put your hinge on Poke your brads through. Okay. Now you need to turn them to make sure that when you open, when they open up, they open up flat and not poking out the top. You want them going to the sides like that. Okay. So that's the outside. You've got the raised bit on the edge. And then this piece will attach to your top okay but you need to make sure those brads are down press them down and then when we do the paper we do it right up to the top so that it um, covers those up so yeah happy with that one Oh, excuse me looks a bit wonky already but hey that's what I get for not putting my glasses on all the time so you want to make sure it's sort of roughly where the other one was mark your holes probably can't see this sorry just mark your holes and then poke your poke tool through if you can find oh, there it is again be gentle support your chipboard you don't want it all breaking and the next one Get your brads and your hinge. Sorry, let me show you this properly. Put it through your hinge, poke it through your hole, make sure they're closed together, your key bits, otherwise, it won't go through. Oh, sorry, I can't do it back to front without looking at it. That's better. Like that. I've done it again. See? Put it on the wrong way. That one in there. Like that. And then do the same. Make sure they're in nicely and going out to the side rather than up and down do you know what i can't see that i really need my glasses on and make sure they're pushed down nice and tight 
and flat. Okay, see that? So then all you do for the top is make sure it's on straight. Bring your hinges up and mark your holes. Okay. Just make sure it's all lined up properly. I'm going to do it like this because I can't see if I mark your hole. And that side. Try and get it in the middle of the hole in the hinge. That one. And then the same for the other side. Just mark it first and then you can mark it with a pen if it's easier for you. And then do the same thing. Find your marks, support your chipboard. Ooh. That keeps happening to me. Need to glue it back in. Both sides. Okay, you can see that. That one's a bit close to the top in it. And one's a bit low down, I'm not sure which. Let's have a look before I stick it together. See what I've done wrong. Oh, that'd be okay. That'd be fine. So put your brads in. I think there was 14 brads you needed. Make sure they're in. I need to put some tape on that. Now, you're going to have to hold your box while you straighten out your brads. And if you can, push your brads in as you're opening them. It's very fiddly. Let me just separate them so I can see what I'm doing. in separate them make sure they're going to the sides again rather than up and down and push them through and then do the same flatten flatten them out oh, that one's come up that back down so it's at the side. And there you are. Make sure it's all straight. So there's your hinges all done. That one's definitely a little bit wonky, but hey ho, it's fine. And now you do exactly the same for your closure. Make sure everything's lined up. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure you're sort of pretty much in the middle, which I think I 
over a little bit. About there, I think. And then make sure it's lined up so that it closes. Then use your, uh, your pokey tool again. Now be careful because this is right on the edge. I'm going to use my pen. Where's my pen? I'm sure it fell on the floor. It did. Use your pen to mark this bit rather than your pokey tool. Make sure everything's lined up, all your edges. And of course your closure. Right. Let's go for it. I moved it then. Yeah, so if you look, that's right on the edge. So be careful when you um, poke your holes through. One, two, three, one, two, three. That's right. Okay, so I'm going to do the bottom. Poke the holes in the bottom bit first. Careful. Support your chipboard because it will bend as you poke through. Okay, so they're my bottom holes, and I'm going to do the same for the top. Again, grab your brads, let's put the top bit on first, close it up. You want three for the top and three for the bottom. So poke those through first. Like so. Make sure they are opening out to the side. Like that. And again, press them down so they're nice and flat. best as you can. There's your top bit. <coughs> Excuse me. And the same. For the bottom. They're closed, otherwise, I won't go in. That's it. So turn them so they're going to open to the side. Get them down as flat as you can. Poking them in with your thumb as you flatten them. Careful. 
here. And then hopefully it will close up. Okay. I think I might get some mini padlocks, Emily. Mini padlocks, if you can get find any tiny little ones just to put on there so they've got like a little key and a padlock. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. And if you've bent your chipboard in a bit, just pull it out so your flap doesn't flap about like that. Okay. So now we can put our papers on the inside. But before we do that, you can either leave it so that it opens all the way up. But as you see, it tips over. So what I did... On this one is I just use some of the trinket parlor lovely lace trim here crochet trim to uh, I completely got them in the different angles but hi ho can't notice and it just stops it falling backwards so I'm gonna do that again not sure I've got any of this left actually but I will find something to do that with Okay, so happy with that so far. Definitely need something to close it. I used one of these Tim Holtz in the other one. Like, pushed it through like that. I don't really want the kids to have them because they'd be poking themselves in the eye and all sorts. So mini padlocks would be lovely, Emily, if you can find any, of course. So now, we, oh, we've got some brads left over. I thought I was going to run out. Let me put them back in my little, and it comes from this, so, because I didn't have enough, so I had to nick some out of here. Let's get that bit up. I'll do that in a minute, won't I? Otherwise, we'll be here all day. Let's get that internal plastic bit out. Right. So, I need to... measure and cut my papers that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this on the inside bottom and top. Mm. Or, or maybe what I might do, because I'm not sure I'm going to have enough, I was going to do top and bottom inside and then all the edges with that one. Uh, sorry. How did I do the last one? Yeah, with the plane and then the pattern around the edge. So I was going to do that if I've got enough to go of this to go all around the edges. Should have, shouldn't I? Oh well, I'll cut it first and we will see. Right, I'm going to go off and measure and cut that and then I'll come back with the sizes and what have you or you can measure yours if you're doing different sizes. Yeah, I'm back again. Am I recording? Yes, I am. Right, I've cut my papers to the size of the insides of my box. I've added my lace from my stash because I didn't have any of the Trinket Parlour one left. And all I did with that is just put a bit of double-sided tape on each end, brought my lid up, put the top piece on first, then added the bottom piece so that it's nice and uh, holds the lid up. And as you can see, it's holding up with just one side on. 
Um, I haven't done this side because I wanted to show you how I did it. So here's my bit of lace. And all I did was put some, you can put glue. I think I glued it last time. Put some double-sided tape on the ends just to hold it in place. Mm. Let me take the top one off first. Make sure you get it the right way up. Bit fiddly. Okay. Hold that up. And then what I did, try and get it in the same place as I did before. Let's just see how far up I went. Okay, so about an inch and a half. And then when you put it in, if you put it in at an angle so it comes downwards, so I want it about there. Does that look the same? Oh, that looks a bit high. Yeah, that's better, I think. Okay, so when, so just attach the top piece. Can you see that? And then, oh, don't do it so tight that it does that. And then all you do is attach your bottom piece. And you paint once you've uh, put your papers on, that'll hold it in, oh, in place as well. So make sure it's tight enough that it's going to hold the lid, but not too tight that you're going to pull the lid shut. And then once you've done that, you can put your papers over the top. So put all your papers on except for the sides for the top and the bottom do them last so and what i did forget to tell you and what i forgot to do is ink the inside edges of your box which is a bit awkward so um i used a felt tip pen <laughs> just got a brown felt tip pen and uh coloured in the corners on the inside because you can't really get your ink pad down there. Should have done it before um, before I um, you know when we was doing all the hinges you should have inked the hinges first save all this hassle afterwards. So then this is just the bottom side bit. Make sure you get your papers the right way up. And press down good over that lace. I need, oh, I forgot to do that corner down there. I'll link that later. So then that's the inside of your box. All done. So what we're gonna do now is our straps and our handle. So grab your straps. What you want to do, you want to make sure you're missing your hinges. And you want to bend it down and make sure you are nice and straight and bend, just bend it around your box like that so it's a little bit long so i will cut that off and then what we need to do is cut along the join here so first of all i'm going to Use my bone folder and cut that bit off. 
where it's too long. Don't forget to wrinkle your edges again. And then where your hinge is, you need to cut. Let's just move that along so it's like that. Where's my pen? Been clearing up again. So I want to cut sort of along there. Again, don't forget to ink the edge of your and make sure you put it on. I've just realised I've uh, bent it the wrong way. Make sure you bend it the right way <laughs> and make sure that when it is bent everything's nice and straight okay so this bit will go on there so grab your glue again clear up your mess Make sure you're um, gluing. I suggest you glue these rather than sticky tape them. And I'm going to have to turn it round so I put it on straight and in the right place. Okay. And that's your first bit you need it cut there because of your join all right so then you need to line up this one so it's in the same place and again where it joins you need to mark it let me get it up the right way so i'll mark it in the right place and that will go so again cut that bit off ink your edge Add your glue. I am recording, aren't I? Yes. Add your glue again. Line it up with your back piece so it's nice and straight. Move that round a minute while I line it up. Okay, so it looks like that. And then make sure this top bit's straight. Wipe off your excess glue. Make sure that's all lined up. Do you know what I forgot to do? What I did do with the other ones is I went over it with glossy accents and just makes it a bit shinier. So I might do that when I'm finished. Okay, so that's what your strap should look like. And then the last piece
Now, if you're using brads, you need to put your brads on first. But I just use um, flat back pearls. So again, I line that up. Make sure that's nice and straight. Like that. And you do exactly the same for the other side. Grab your strap. Make sure it's your strap because you've only inked one side. And do exactly the same. Put it where you want it. Bend it where you need to bend it. Mark where you need to cut it where it's too long about there don't forget don't forget to ink it that looks okay to me so again you need to mark actually I like to bend it first to make sure it's all straight And your card might crack, so just ink it if it does. And now I'm going to mark again where I'm going to cut it. So that one first. Put your ink on, add your glue. Put that piece on first. Again, make sure you're nice and straight. Even gap in between your hinges. Straight. That looks straight to me. Okay, so then line up where you cut it. And now we're going to cut the front piece. Oh, probably lid there. Line it up. Make sure it's straight on top, which is about like that. And just mark where you need to cut it, where your join is. You see? Cut that. Ink your cut. Add your glue. Line it up with your back bit first. Like that. 
make sure you're all even. And push that down. Give it a minute to set before you burnish it, otherwise it'll move about. As I said, if you've got any cracked bits, just ink them over. And any white bits that you can see. That's straight. I think so. And then the bit that you cut off, that's not it. That's the bit that I cut off, here it is. Should go like that. Again, line it up with your top piece. And give it before you burnish it just leave it for a minute and let the glue take okay so that's your straps now all we've got to do is um, decorate I think so let that dry and um, I'm gonna stop this video and do a part three just for the decoration so you can choose whether or not you watch that or do your own decorating so um, I will be back very soon I'm back again already because I forgot to put the handle on <laughs> that was a bit silly wasn't it right so what I've done is I've cut this down to seven inches and then with the width What you need to do is use your bone, bone folder, crease in there so that you've got this little bit here. Don't worry about that, that's going to be underneath that's where my paper's cracking. Ink it if you need to, and you need to do that both ends, okay? And then you need to roll it about and give it a little bend so it looks like so it looks like that, and then. What we're going to do for this bit I use glossy accents and I'm going to cover these with glossy accents as well but first I'm going to put on my strap so for your ends I bet it's not I bet it's all blocked up like it always is Now I need my pin that I use to, oh, that'll do. An old paper clip. Ooh. I think the end's bunged up. Just like that. And then hopefully my glue will come out now. No. Get the hair off it. Right, that should be enough. So cover your creased bits, and this is what you're going to attach. So what I do is I put it on the bottom, but I put it right up the top here. Okay. So do one at a time. Line it, line it up. Oh, I've got glossy accents everywhere now. Get me a little cloth. I 
going to open it up so that I can just clean the edge up. Make sure you're nice and straight. Don't worry too much about any spillage because we will be going over it with glossy accents anyway. Or I will be, so it's up to you if you're going to do that. But it just makes it a bit, if you look at that one compared to that one, it just looks a little bit better, I think. So that's how you add your handle. What I do to get the bend in it, so once I've cut it, I just go like this with my bone folder. And then like that, do me edges, fold them up like that. So you've got your handle. Okay. So that's definitely the end of part two now. Push it over a little bit. So there's your handle. I will be back in part three with decorating. So get your hot glue gun out. See you in a minute.